Hey guys, how's it going? I am terribly sorry about the delay in videos that are being made. Uh, my buddy is actually editing videos now, and right on the very first video he goes to edit, almost had it done, and his computer has literally died. So, <laughs> just very unfortunate. God, my lighting in here is not doing super great today, so this green screen looks like crap. Sorry. I'll get these things fixed here soon, guys. Uh, he's getting a new computer. Those two videos that I recorded previously, there are two videos in the works. So, and they're good, good videos. Okay, they're they're going to be awesome. I think they're going to be probably the most popular videos on the channel so far, if I had to guess. But I got these clunking, clunky pedals around here, and I didn't know exactly how to approach them individually. So I was like, let's not do them individually. Let's do the way huge, uh, we'll just do a way huge, it'll be a way huge show. So I have the way huge angry troll and the way huge aquapus. The Aquapus is still being made, and probably one of my all-time favorite pedals. Literally, all one of my all-time favorite pedals, probably. Uh, when it comes to any kind of effect, it is so good. It's a delay slash reverb, mostly delay. You get a blend of that reverb. You don't get to control the reverb nearly as much as you get to control the delay, but it has some cool features that you'll find out that are really squealy and uh, feedbacky and super good. And then this Angry Troll, I, it is the strangest boost pedal I have ever used. And it's very unique. I love the way it makes this Axe Effects sound, because that's what I'm going to run it through is my Axe Effects here. With DV77's, uh, it's going to simulate a 5153. I got my Noise Killer here in the middle. And uh, just, it's on a clean channel right now. So I'm using like a Deluxe Reverb or something that... Yeah. It's... Just without anything at all. You know, good, clean... And then I'm going to kick on the Angry Troll, and I'm going to kick on the settings that I have on the Aquapus, and we're going to play with it a bit here, and let me mute myself, and you'll see. So you get this kind of nice slap back. I have the delay barely on here, the feedback barely on. The blend is up quite a bit for that reverb. That's how you control your reverb for the most part here. Uh, so get very little. You just kind of, you got to get that blend going a little bit, I think, to get the delay in there. But yeah. So yeah, it's a it's a pretty neat, pretty nice little slap back with reverb and all. But I mean, it, you really crank that delay up, crank the blend up. Now what's so unique about this actually is the feedback and you know you can crank it up to the middle and you'll kind of get this bit of a when you do some harmonics there you'll get some overtones there that are really really cool especially when you crank this on up uh we'll go ahead and we'll crank him on all the way up now this has different anger stages actually and it's interesting it's like you get a different staged gain every time, I think. But it really changes whenever it hits the last two fists here. Yeah. 
hear that squalliness that's happening there? It, I mean, it's just gnarly. You just don't get that with uh, the feedback down. See what I'm saying? So you crank it up about halfway and... You start getting this really cool tone, but what's really fun about it is when you get it all the way up. <laughs> and then you just... Then you start dialing this delay back. So pretty neat, huh? <laughs> it's just so much fun. You can do so much different things with it. And now this angry troll here with this linear boost. I just love the, the tone of it. I guess I forgot to mention that it's... Uh, I don't know if it is or isn't. It was either his favorite pedal or it's his signature pedal, but John Mayer actually is the one who really used this pedal, I guess, more often than not, and loved it, and I don't know if they made it for him or what it was about it. I probably should have looked that up, but it, it's just super freaking cool. It has some cool gain stages, but that's not why you guys are here, is it? Y'all are here probably more for the metal, which is the more fun section of it, in my opinion. So we'll go ahead, and we're going to go metal. I'm going to dial this knob here. Bump my camera, because I'm going to do that every time, I guess. To my 5153 Metal DV77. So, this is just the tone of it, just to start. So, yep. And then, uh, we're going to engage and have some fun. Okay, I'm going to turn off my microphone so y'all don't hear that, and I'm going to just play around with this. So let's let's get some of that anger up a little bit. I'm going to be dialing in that anger. Or I'm going to be clicking through the uh, one, two, three, four, five different anger positions here. And you're going to see how much it changes and how this is going to start sounding like some sort of like, uh, what what is it, HM2 or something like that. But not as noisy as an HM2. It's more clear. It's very interesting. So it's just got a really, really, really gnarly tone about it. Now, I like to dial this volume back a little bit. It's still boosting. Right there, I think, is about the sweet spot, so... You can just hear that grudginess under it. And as you can see, the gate actually works a lot better when the volume's just down a little bit. I think my volume in terms, I mean, obviously you can see where my volume is, but I think that's actually about like at an eight 
because when you turn this thing all the way up, I notice it's slightly louder than your average boost pedal. I think they dialed in literally an 11 on this thing. Now, it's not like the uh, Precision Drive Horizon. That's like a 15 when you crank it all the way up by Misha Mansour, and I will be demoing that pedal as well. But we're not here to talk about that pedal yet. That'll come. So that pedal is... This pedal here, I think it's at about an 11 when it's cranked all the way up. And I'm not kidding. There's a little, a little bit more extra loudness there. So you got to dial it back just a little bit if you're using it as a boost to make it cleaner. But it still boosts, obviously. Anything past like, well, I think 5. Well, I guess it depends on the pedal. Because some pedals need to be boosted all the way up to be 1 decibel up for some reason. Um, and some pedals are just made different. But, I don't know. Your average boost pedal, I think, does... 5 decibels, is it? I'm not sure. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I know. <laughs> I don't. But it, I know it's not a substantial amount, but it is good. I think the John Petrucci guitar that I have, when you push it, it gives you a 12 decibel increase. I think, Or is it 20? It's 20 decibel increase. So maybe, maybe your average boost pedal does do like 15. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. But, uh... This thing's killer. I mean, just that rockin' like... Or not rockin', but that very grimy, metal-y, just disgusting... I mean, listen, I'm gonna turn it off, and... Now, of course, just to have a little bit more fun, we're going to be using this a little bit, which is just super cool. I love the sound of that feedback. That sounds like a some creepy little alien. Turn that down. Okay, we'll have that re we'll have that feedback right at about there. You can Ah, messed that part up. But anyway, <laughs> you get some pretty gnarly tones out of that. Uh, maybe set the thing back down here a little more, because, man, that's some sensitive gain going through there, and it's just, it's just got that. But, yeah, you can really kick, crank up that delay and just do some. Anyway, pretty cool sounding, awesome two pedals. I don't know that they make the Angry Troll anymore. I don't think they do. I am actually wanting to rant a little bit about it because I bought this off Reverb in mint condition. It was listed as mint condition. Okay, I don't know if y'all could see it, but there are... Looks like somebody took the end of a knife and jabbed it all in here. These knobs are all sorts of scratched up, scuffed up, and uh, actually... Uh, while, while we're on the subject, I just want to show you this just a little bit to, it'll, oops, don't want to bang my guitar against the desk, that's not good. 
Is that a scratch? Nope, that's not. Cool. Okay. Uh... There we go. Anyway. Just to not go on a crazy, crazy rant, but I do want to show this a bit, because it's, it's just, it's absolutely infuriating. Uh, if you, you would think that, you know, it wouldn't be all scratched up, dinged up, stuff like that. Uh, I don't know how well y'all can see if there are or not. This was so gunked, and it still is a little gunky. You could probably, I don't know if you could, how well, let's see, eh. Can y'all see it? Ah, you know what? We'll get it right here. We'll pull this up. Just disgusting. Disgusting in there. Uh, but that's not even the worst part. The, the, the battle damage on the case isn't the worst part at all. If you're going to list one of these in mint condition, at least make sure, make sure it has the freaking screws. Are you kidding me? It took me forever to be able to get this button to go down, though. I had to use so much gunk cleaner and stuff. It's not, like I said, it's not good. That's what, one thing that's irritating, too. This thing would not push down. I, I thought it was legit broken when I got it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is broken. I tried really hard. I could not put my weight on it. When I put my weight on it, the case itself started to flex. So I didn't want to put any more weight on it. And that's ridiculous. But when this thing sits flat, too, you know, um, I'm not trashing the pedal by any means, guys. But that's what happens when their screws aren't in it. That's awesome, guys. <laughs> Don't... Look, you, you just gotta be very careful with reverb, guys. Reverb people on there. You, you, anybody on reverb, you should be so ashamed of yourself for listing this is mint condition. Even excellent condition was a little too much for this thing. So... But all in all, the pedal sounds awesome. Pedal sounds awesome. I fixed it up. I need to find two flat screws like this to... Oh, this one's stripped. Oh, super cool. This screw is completely stripped. Okay, I need to buy three screws for this thing. This, I bought brand new. It is phenomenal. Brand new, they still make this thing. I don't think they make this anymore, but they go used for like uh, anywhere between 80 and like 120 bucks. I think this was about the same uh, brand new. I think it was 120 or something like that. Um... Not 100% sure, but... Uh-oh, baby's getting upset. <laughs> so I do gotta wrap this up, guys. But thank you all so much for watching. Uh, like I said, I love these pedals. This is what that last rant was just a message of. Guys, be careful on reverb. You never know what you're gonna get. Um, don't expect anything mint to come if they list it as mint. And also report those people that do that, because it just... Ugh, it's aggravating. It's aggravating to get something in good condition that they listed as mint. This is all day long good condition. I agree with that. Not excellent. Not mint. Definitely not mint. Excellent condition, I think, would have been... The battle damage would have been good on it. But this, which is still... Like, this is fine. This, I have to push so... F so hard to get it down still. And I've done everything I could to get this thing to work properly. So, it, it is where it is now. I'll, maybe I'll keep spraying some WD-40 in it or something. I don't even know if that's going to damage it or not, but... Yeah, the battle damage would have been fine. For excellent, would have had to have three screws that are good. I think everything would have had to have been good. It couldn't be tossed around. It's fine. These things are meant to take a beating. But it was just the fact that he listed it as mint, and it has dents all... And there, there's not a single undented sign on any, any corner. Every single corner is dented up. There are literally... It's just... Yeah. Not mint. Not even close. Mint condition means it is this condition, but was bought by somebody. Opened, even. This is not mint. Anyway. Love the pedals, guys. I hope you liked it, too. I hope this video turned out okay, and if there's anything uh, I can do to improve, please, uh, you know, comment, like the video, dislike the video if you really didn't like it, but, you know, leave a comment, tell me what you didn't like about it, and uh, what all we can be, what can be done. Tell me what you all would like to see, and again, thank you all, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.